Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Leo Millman and Joseph Feng. This is a game from Foxwood Open, 2005 chess tournament. Leo Millman had white pieces and he started with e4. Joseph Feng played c6, d4, d5, Karo Khan defense. Knight to c3, d takes on e4, d takes on e4 to f5, attacking the knight, knight to g3, defending and attacking, bishop to g6, h4, threatening h5, trapping the bishop, h6, knight to f3, knight to d7, if knight to f6, knight to e5, attacking the bishop. So we have knight to d7, h5, bishop to h7, bishop to d3, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, e6, bishop to f4, black to move. Bishop to b4 check was played. Queen to a5 check is the most popular move. And after bishop to d2, queen to c7. In our game we have bishop to b4 check, c3. Bishop to e7. Lev Milman castle queen side. F and g to f6. King to b1, king safety first. Joseph Eng castle king side. Knight to e5, c5, queen to f3, queen to b6, knight takes knight, knight takes knight, white to move. What would you do? What is the best move for white in this position? Lev Milman played d5, collecting the pawn, which is defending a 5 square. e takes on d5. This is not a move that Joseph Feng wanted to play, but he didn't like d6. For example, if rook from a to d8, d6. Cramping black's position. So, Joseph Feng captured the pawn on d5. Knight to f5, threatening knight takes bishop. Bishop to f6, rook takes pawn on d5, queen to e6. To move, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps bishop to g3 looks like a sensible move, do you agree? Leva Milman sacrificed the bishop on h6. Knight to e5, attacking the queen, which is defending the rook on d5. Queen to e4, knight to c6, queen to f3. Knight to e5, attacking the queen again, queen to e4, knight to c6. Black is happy with the draw. What would you do? Would you accept the draw or would you go for a win? How to go for a win? Leo Millman played queen to g4, sacrificing the rook. Well, a queen takes queen doesn't work at all. If queen takes on e6, f takes on e6, and rook is winning. So we have queen to g4. Queen takes rook. Bishop takes on g7. Queen to d3 check. King to a1. Knight to e5 attacking the queen. Joseph Feng was betting all his money on this black horse. Looks like white is in trouble. Where is the queen going? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Lev Milman played knight to e7 check. King to h7. If bishop takes on e7, bishop takes on e5, discovered check. King to h7, queen to g7, checkmate. King to h7. Looks like black is holding. Which piece to save? What to do? Which piece would you save? Perhaps queen should be saved. That is the most valuable piece. Please pause the video again and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this move? Queen 
to G6 check. This is the move out of this world. Black can capture white queen in a few different ways. Milman played pawn takes queen. If queen takes on g6, h takes on g6, discover check, king takes bishop on g7, rook to h7, check, mate. If knight takes, h takes on g6, discover check, king takes bishop, rook to h7, check, mate. So, Joseph Eng captured with the pawn. h takes on g6, discover check. King takes bishop and there is checkmate in one. Rook to h7, checkmate. What a beautiful attack. That was an epic game by Willman. Would you like to play epic games? Would you like to play attacking chess like this? Yes? No? Why not? Please click on the link below the video and learn how you can also play aggressive chess. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.